today I'm doing something a little different. I am actually filming on my GoPro and that is because I am going to be doing my library tour after I have like reorganized all my shelves and done an unhaul. I'm going to show you how it ended up because you apparently wanted to see this. So we are going to go through, I'm going to show you every single shelf. I'm not going to pull out like every single book because that's like it would take forever but I'm gonna pull out like you know the nice ones the ones that I love the most the special editions and like just kind of give you an overview of all of my shelves all right so this is the entirety of the room how it is right now you can see all the shelves and we've got my little chair and then there's the like the little table. But then if we go over this way, you start to see like my husband's desk and work area. But, you know, if we just stand this way, you can't see my husband's ugly work area. <laughs> and then I've got my work area in the back that I'll show you as well. So this is like my work area. So I do work from home. I also work in office, but I work from home three days a week. And then obviously I do all like my editing and stuff. This is my like computer setup with my monitors. My husband actually built my computer and then I have my little, my wall decorated all lovely. And a lot of my kids art is what I keep on that board. But yeah, this is my work setup. But now we will get into the uh, book setup. <laughs> all right. So honestly, there's not much like rhyme nor reason to the organization. Let's, let's be real. I thought about doing it by like author and I was like, no, I don't really want to do that. So I just kind of like put them where I thought they'd all look pretty. So up here we have all of the wheel of time that I own, which is not the whole series. I own like really a random editions. I got these all from, um, like my library book sale, which is why they're like, some hard covers over here and then we've got a mass market another mass market and then like trade paperbacks that are not the same size and like this is a hardback but this is a big hardback and this is a paperback like they're a mess and then over here of course we got my little rogue one favorite character in the movie and then my lord of the rings bind up this is the movie edition I got this like in high school. I need to actually like reread it because it's been a long, long time. And then The Hobbit, which I've actually never read. So that's lovely. I've never actually read The Hobbit, surprisingly. Down here, we've got my Harry Potter books. These are old ones from like when the movies released. And then those. And I've got my, I didn't know where to put this because I don't have like a whole manga shelf. Like this is the only one I own. But I wanted to like display it out. So I put my Full Metal Alchemist right here. This was a gift from Leslie. And then behind here, I just have my three remaining Cassandra Clare books that I'm debating on reading. And I think I'm going to try them and then see what happens. Because I'm not sure if I want to keep them or not. Because I'm just not, I'm not sold on keeping these. But they're here for now. I'm going to try them out. If I don't like them, I'm going to unhaul them. This I actually am really excited about. I just picked up recently, Women Who Run With Wolves. This is like a nonfiction, myths and stories about the wild woman archetype. And I have heard such good things about this. And I really want to get to it. Because like my cousin loves it. Like a lot of people love this. And I'm excited to read that. We're going to put him back right there. Then my owl crate one. And now we've just got like this really, this is just like kind of a decorative shelf. Um, a book is a dream you hold in your hand. I just really love that quote. This is a supernatural candle that my friend got me. It's Sam Winchester. So get this. And like, I can't burn it. And then we've got my little Wonder Woman Funko Pop that I was sent at one point. This is a really pretty cover of the little mermaid. We've got Strange the Dreamer, which I still have not read. The Starless Sea, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's beautiful, which is why it's pointed out. And then we've got Geekerella and Princess and the Fiend Girl, which I still have not read. 
going down this shelf is all sci-fi pretty much it's not all the sci-fi i own but i wanted to do this shelf is all sci-fi most of it unread except for born i absolutely love born if you have not read it you need to it is so good it is so weird and then it's surrounded by other jeff vandermeer books which is um dead astronauts and southern reach which i have not read but some other really cool this one i've mentioned before is gone world and it's my mom's cousin who wrote the book tom felterlich so i will be getting to that this i'm really excited to get to the disasters i actually sent that to monica at mooney reads for um her birthday and then she read it and said she really liked it so like now i need to read it moving down we've still got the classics shelf but it's been overtaken because i just i put these there this one lust for life is a biography by irving stone who's one of my favorite biographers and I don't really read a lot of biographies anymore, but this one I just thought was so pretty. And it's just like a really cool edition, but it's about Vincent Van Gogh. Lust for Life. I just thought it was such a cool book. It's such a cool, like his life story was really interesting. Then we've also got this one by Jack London. This is or not by Jack London, the Sailor on Horseback is about Jack London. I have another copy of it, but it's on my outside bookshelf out there. But it is, again, Irving Stone, and it is the biography of Jack London, who I always really liked growing up. But then I've just got, like, a bunch of the classics. Some of these came from, like, my grandfather, like, the, the, the yearling. And let's see. No one really talks about this one. Okay, the yearling by Marjorie Kenny Rawlings. This was actually written local to me so marjorie ken rawlings is a like classics author but she is local to me and you can actually go and see her old estate and like there's a restaurant there called the yearling and it's actually a really cute story about a girl who finds a baby deer and raises it and yeah so she's not like super super famous but she's um like locally famous i guess because like cross creek is the name of the place and then we've got Alice in Wonderland, and then some of these are, like, from my grandparents. Like, this is, like, My Fair Lady. Of course, we've got Princess Bride, Frankenstein, Sailor on Horseback, which is my favorite, favorite Jack London book. Now, I'm not getting up yet, so we're going to move along to the bottom of this shelf. This shelf has no rhyme nor reason. I just thought they kind of looked good there. I All of these are unread. Unread books. I really want to get to this one, Half a King by Joe Abercrombie, because I've never read Joe Abercrombie, and even though I have the first law, I just I haven't gotten to it. I've heard really good things about this, too, The Last Magician, so I want to get to it. And then basically moving on across, I kind of just went with the, they're all like darker blue theme. Most of these are unread, unread too. I think all of these are unread. War Cross is one I really want to get to this year, and The Wicked Deep, but these are all just like unread books on this shelf. Moving up, these are my like YA series on these two kind of shelves, right? So we've got like Ash Princess, I'm gonna supposed to be reading that this month, the second book. I really liked the first one. Crown of Feathers, Heart of Flames. I really want to read Heart of Flames before the third book comes out. The full Renegades series, which I really liked. Supernova Let Me Down. Um, Arch Enemies was my absolute favorite. Then I've got the three books in the, what is it? The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have not read these yet, but I want to. They're on my list to read this year. I've got the first three books in the Diviners. And then we've got the Nevernight series in Scythe. And I need to read this one. This is unread. This is unread. This is unread. These two I read. And then this one I still need to pick up. But I really, really want to get to it. I'm still not sure about Nevernight, y'all. Like, I want to read it. I'm just... I'm scared. Okay. Moving on. Oh, standing up. So, now we come to, like, some of my favorites. And these are the ones that you can like see in my videos. This whole shelf is in K. Jemison. So we got the fifth season, Obelisk Gate and Stone Sky. 
I turned out city we became because I thought it was super pretty. Then we've got inheritance and the killing moon and these will both get read this year. So I've read these. I have not read those. Over here, which you can also kind of see when I film, I've got the entire Air Awakens series which is a self-published YA fantasy romance and books are super freaking pretty. Like the hard covers of them underneath are really pretty as well. And we've got, of course, Sword of Kaigen by Emma Wang. And we've got House in the Cerulean Sea. I just loved this. I just finished this recently and oh, it's so good, y'all. Oh, now we have Sando. Brando Sando gets the whole top shelf and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to like move this around again once he releases more books because like they, they're not all going to fit. We've got all of the released Stormlight Archives with Edge Dancer. Then we've got Skyward and Starsight, which I really, really loved. I still need to get to these two, but I love these. And then this shelf just has the whole Mistborn series. So we've got the first one, which these are my favorite covers of the series. I know so many people love the really simple UK editions, but these are my absolute favorites. I just think they are beautiful. These like hardbacks, the art, like so pretty. So then we've got literally all of them. Era 2, which is backwards. I just now noticed like... It should be one, two, three. Like, it should be that way, but I... Okay, whatever. We're rolling with it. Then we've got this little shelf over here. My cube shelf. I do a lot of, like, just decor stuff on top. This is a puzzle I got from um, Owl Crate. I don't really do puzzles, and I haven't read Ember in the Ashes yet, but it's pretty. This I got at Disney Social Media Conference, like, in 2019, when that was still a thing. When you could still do conferences. This, I think, is hysterical. So, I've had people comment on it before. It is, like, one of the McDonald's glasses from when the movie came out. <laughs> so, still have that. These, I'm not going to zoom in too close. These are, like, poems that apparently I wrote as a small child and my grandparents had in their house. And now they're mine. That was from a photo shoot I did on my 30th birthday. I was born in 89. This was my first pair of Mickey ears from when I was a small child. My mom kept everything. So like, it's kind of great. And then like art from my kids. I've got like fake flowers. This I got when I went to Mexico on vacation before I got pregnant with Willow. And this is a creepy doll that used to be my great aunt's. And I have a whole box of clown stuff. And this is the only one that gets to sleep because it's the least creepy of all of them. But it's the only stuff I have left of hers. So I keep it because it's important. Now, we're moving down. I wonder if I can sit. We've got, so like I said, there's no rhyme, no reason. But over here, we have Kings of the Wild with Bloody Rose. I still need to read this. Gutter Prayer, which I got at a used bookstore and I'm going to be reading with some friends soon a promise of blood which was surprisingly good then we've got um what mexican gothic and gods of jade and shadow both by sylvia moreno garcia i'm super excited for gods of jade and shadow and i'm on the fence about mexican gothic because it's had a lot of hit or miss reviews and then we've got fate of the fallen this is one of our shelf based books coming up soon so i'm excited this is all my owl crate books there's actually one behind here goddess in the machine but I really wanted to display out Where Dreams Descend because that's my favorite. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful and it's a good book. And then we have These Violent Delights, Among the Beasts of Raiders, and Legendborn. I haven't read those three yet, but I think I'm going to do another reading Owl Crate vlog soon. Over here, we have Middle Grade. I don't own a lot of Middle Grade, so it's just Nevermore, Wondersmith. Keepers of the Lost City, and House Moving Castle. And then this is something my daughter made at school, which I thought was really, really cute. Then down here, we've got basically more middle grade-ish. And then decor. But it's a lot of, like, middle grade. It's Kingdom Keepers. And then Ink Spell, Holes, Land of Stories. 
Wrinkle in Time. So like these are all like more like middle gradey that I'm kind of saving for my daughter and son, but like she's just older so she'll come first with that. Over here we've got, I don't know, it's kind of like a Disney shelf. I didn't change this one at all. It's got the whole Cinder, the whole Cinder series, the whole Lunar Chronicles with Cinder, Scarlet Crest, Winter, and then um, Stars Above, and then Ferris. And then Kingdom, Lost Boys, and the Zodiac. I found this one at a Dollar Tree, but these are like kind of like Disney feeling. Like this is official Disney, but they're all kind of like Disney feeling. So I thought they were appropriate all together. This is my um, kind of intimidating shelf. So I put all the books that like I want to read, but like intimidate me right here. So we've got Black Prism, Dune, Name of the Wind, um, Blade Itself, Trader's Blade, Prior of the Orange Tree, and <laughs> Assassin's Apprentice. I want to read all of these. It's so bad, but they all, like, intimidate me. But I, like, keep them there so I can look at them and be like, all right, I'm going to pick you up. Down, 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 down to the next cube. I don't even know. Like, y'all, we're getting to the point of, like, eh, I just put them places. So this is a self-published book that was sent to me that I want to get to, the super secret book. Let's see if I can. It's a really cool cover. Like, it's really pretty. It's like a superhero YA book. And I'm really excited to get to this. It's, like I said, self-published. And I want to read more self-pub this year. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. Also, I have Nightmare. This is another self-pub by Chad Nichols that I really need to get to soon. And then these are just kind of... Ones I chucked in here because I had no other space. So none of these are super exciting except for Heretics Anonymous. I really want to get to that one. Moving along, we have my non-fantasies. So these are more like outside of my comfort zone, more like horror thriller-esque. So Whisper Man and Horror Store, Imaginary Friends I still have not read. I know Jesse May is going to be like, oh, get to it, read it now, but I will. And then I really want to read this one, The Less Are Dead. And then, of course, The Inheritance Games, which, oh, I'm so excited for that one because it sounds so, so good. Then we've got, like, this weird shelf over here of stuff I didn't know where to put. So I've got a Dictionary of Dreams. I've got a Quran. And I've got The People's History of the United States. I've got a cover for Ashley Eckstein's book. I don't have the book itself because my friend borrowed it. And then I've got Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson, which is, like, for, like, funnels and blogging and stuff like that. So this is just kind of, like, nonfiction, but I don't read a lot of nonfiction, as you can see. I've just got some, some books here. And if you want to know, okay, so I have a Quran because when I was in high school, I did my senior exit project on Abrahamic religions. So I did... My whole year-long project on the comparison and contrasting of Abrahamic religions. So Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. So that is why I have and have read big portions of the Quran. Moving on, we have... Actually, one of these books is read. Magic for Liars. This book is so good. And then Nocturna, I think, is beautiful and I really want to read. But, like, look at that cover. Look, look. Oh, isn't she pretty? I really want to read that. I've heard it compared to Darker Shade of Magic, and I love that. And I know some people are like, it's a ripoff of Darker Shade of Magic, and I'm like, I want to read that. It sounds great. Oh, I have another nonfiction. Here we go. The Princess Diaries. By... It's about Carrie Fisher and her life, because she is being freaking fantastic. I felt like this is really boring for y'all. We've got Wicked Fox is so good. I need to read the second one. And then Girls of Paper and Fire. I don't... I really liked it, but I don't know. Everyone says the second one's not nearly as good. So let me know. Let me know if I should go ahead and pick that up. Moving on. we got this, like, little corner down here. These I found at the Dollar Tree. Magonia and Airy. I don't even know what they are. But, like, they looked really, really cool. Wolf by Wolf is one that I'm super excited to get to soon. And then I have Dream Daughter, which is another, like, out of my comfort zone read that I want to get to. This is kids' encyclopedias that my husband won't let me get rid of. He's like, 
the kids might like them one day. And I'm like, why? They have Google, but you know, cool, young learning encyclopedias. Maybe they'll come in handy one day. Now we're just moving up. We've got, these are more of my like adult fantasy shelves, which obviously I have more of. Um, Women's War, which is fantastic. I still need to read the second one though. These are all my little novellas that I want to get to. Um, I've read the whole Binti trilogy. absolutely loved it. I want to get to Riot Baby and The Test very soon. Then over here, you see Sinlin Ascends and then all my Octavia Butler book. An Unkindness of Magicians, which is like a favorite of mine. I absolutely loved that. Over here, we've got another just mainly fantasy shelf. I just thought was super pretty. Upon a Burning Throne, I just thought was super pretty and I had to turn it out. Uh, that was a gift from Vish with Books with V. Like, it's just so pretty. Moving up, this is probably one of my favorite shelves. Oh, you can see my notes right there. <laughs> Sorry, that's how I film videos. I take notes on sticky notes, y'all. But this is my Poppy War shelf. I have, obviously, the um, American editions in hardback. And then I have the um, Aluma Crate <laughs> editions. And I put the artwork in the pen. It's just so pretty. Dragon Republic's my favorite, so that's why I put it face out. But y'all... These special editions are just beautiful. They are signed. And then, of course, I kept the thing from the box. There's artwork under the dust jacket. And it's just fantastic. These are some of the prettiest books I own, I really, really think. And then moving up, we have my V.E. Schwab shelf. A lot of this, um, we've got the Addy LaRue from the Owl Crate box. I put it backwards because I liked the back of it. And then the pen and the candle that came with it. Vicious and Vengeful. Then we've got some of her other books over here. This also came with the Addy LaRue box. And then this came as a flower press and an Owl Crate box. And I don't see myself actually pressing flowers. Like, let's be real. I'm just, it's not going to happen. But I thought it was, like, really cute to sit with like the rest of her books because it is darker shade of magic themed moving on this top shelf is kind of random but i've got my like one graphic novel that i own which is umbrella academy keanu reeves coloring book and then that was my husband's comic book when he was a kid the return of the jedi i've also got this little doll that i got in mexico and then like a book sleeve and then that's a kid's book that my daughter's at moving on down here we have more Surprise, surprise, fantasy books. We've got The Black Company, Rage of Dragons, City of Brass, which I'm going to get to very soon. We've got one, like, little sci-fi, Leviathan Weeks, Jade City, Malice, Spinning Silver. Then this is um, Child of a Mad God. And then I somehow got, like, this mass market pocket version of um, Reckoning of Fallen Gods, which is a second book, so the disparity and then I got this book the Institute by Stephen King for Christmas and I'm really excited to get to it because I've never read a Stephen King book before Ruin of Kings which I've heard such good things about that I'm excited for as you can see a lot of these are unwritten unread over here we have a fireborn and we hunt the flame I did some like YA fantasy here so we've got the kiss of deception I think it's the remnant chronicles isn't that what this series is called maybe I don't know kiss of deception series that I'm excited for and then I've got I had to put this one it's the wonder woman Leo Bardugo book I just thought that the edges were really cool and then battle royale is turned out because uh it looks fantastic War Girls, which I really want to get to. Eve of Man, which I've heard good things about. And then I'm not sure about Devouring Grey or Wicked Saints. But they're here, so we'll read them eventually. Oh, moving down. We've got Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I am excited to read these. I have not read this series yet. Girl of Fire and Thorns I really liked. Um, I haven't read the second one yet. I did start it, though. 
There will come a darkness. Again, I haven't read that. Girl of the Sea gave back. I really want to read because I read and really enjoyed Sky in the Deep. Um, I didn't keep it though. I ended up giving it to my niece, but I did really enjoy it. And we've got more. This is another self. Uh, I can't get to it because of my chair. Like, this is another self pub book, Fid's Crusade. I'm about to start this soon, and I'm excited to get to it because, like I said, I want to read more self pubs. And it looks really cool. And then down here, we've got like the unfinished shelf. So, this is literally, I didn't know where to put stuff. These, I just, just came in. My chair is like back there, so you can't really see. These are the whole, what's this called? Red Rising series. The entire Red Rising series that's out right now. In paperback. So, yay, excited for that. But yeah, this is my, my shelves, y'all. Alright, so this is the... Uh... This is my bookshelves. I really don't think they're that exciting. I love them. I think it's really, really pretty and I like how it looks. I'm excited to read the books that I haven't read, but it's not anything fancy like so many people do where it's like organized by color, by genre, by um, author. Like they're just there where I want them to be. They're just like, ooh, this looks cool and mm, not sure where to put this one with you here so no real rhyme or reason to it but hopefully you enjoyed this and had fun i know a lot of people wanted to see this so i was happy to do it and i will see you guys next time bye